Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another beautiful evening here out in southeast Missouri. Nice breeze going, so it's not too terrible out here. As you can see, they've cut the hay down of the field out the side here. So tonight we're going to be working on my weed eater here. It's an Echo SRM 210. Uh, it's been a really good weed eater. I really liked it. Uh, I've been having problems lately with the carburetor. Uh, with pull starting and it's been sucking fuel out of the fuel tank up into the cylinder so there's probably some check valve or something in here that is going bad and it's a lot cheaper to replace it than it is to go through and try to clean it and try to fix it that way so let's hop into it all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the air box off here which is held on by just a wing nut off. Got a pretty dirty uh, air cleaner here. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two screws out to get the whole air box off. which actually takes off. So these two screws here hold on the carburetor assembly to everything. And next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll take all the fuel lines off and then uh, we'll take the throttle cable out. Alrighty, so to get this uh, throttle cable out here, the only way I can figure out how to do it is to take this little nut off here and be able to take it off that way. So that's what I'm gonna try. If anybody has another way of doing it, please comment in the uh, comments below. Pretty sure there is probably an easier way of doing this. This is just the only way I can figure out at the moment. You do have to back the idler screw out all the way. And this should just pop right off. Maybe. It is a little bit stubborn. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little pair of pliers to hold that throttle cable. Okay, so a little pair of pliers here. Just to hold the throttle cable. And it pops right off. And just like that, there's our carburetor. Pretty small little, thi little thing here. See, it's been uh, pretty well used. So let's go ahead, I'll get the new one and we'll pop that on. All right, so I'm gonna try a pick. Let me go ahead and get this out. Not too worried about damaging it because I'm not going to use it anymore. So the old one out. Take the new one. This one in. All right, so the pick didn't quite work. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a flathead screwdriver. Big thing is initially getting the stuff started to get in there. Once you get it kind of started in there, it'll go in pretty easily. It's gotta be persistent, patient. Eventually, it'll all work out, right? I'll use a little bit of grease to kind of get things started, but as you can see, we are making progress here. 
I'm pretty sure I'll get comments like, you know, should have done it this way, should have done it that way, but that's the beauty of the internet is everybody has their own way of doing stuff. And I learn new things every day on how to do things to make what I do better. The one thing I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try a different way of putting this uh, throttle cable back in. Do it kind of the way I showed how I did it before. And I'm gonna do it without taking this little throttle off here. Actually, oh, I think I figured it out. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open this wide open throttle. Turn that straight. And there we go. We're in. We're in like Flynn. So yeah, I didn't have to take that off. Uh, go wide open throttle on this. And what that'll do is, as you can see, it lines a little brass keeper here up with your throttle cable. And uh, that's how you get that in there. So, like I said, you learn something new as you go. Kind of figure things out. I'll back this up a little bit. So. And I'll wipe, I'm going to wipe that off. There's a gasket that goes there. Gonna get more carbon choke cleaner, some sort of parts cleaner. Don't need to be super clean, but it's cleaned up. Gonna get our gaskets. So this is the one that goes here, on there like so. So, basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the screw kind of started and line the gasket up, put the other one in. Now originally I wasn't going to do this video tonight, I just didn't feel it. I've been working like crazy here. You know, I think we all have where, where I work. 50, 60 hour weeks. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty beat, not gonna lie. But I figured I haven't done a video in a while, so might as well. Just as I'm talking, I miss get this thing back up here. Maybe. <laughs> There we go. Everything lined up. There we go. Screw back in. to go very tight hand tight a lot of my videos is hand tight <laughs> go straight this 
fly rod a little bit. A little bound up. There we go. That's better. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll hook the fuel lines back up. feeling I could probably cut a little bit of this off. Just teeny bit, not a lot. Way too much line on there. It's kinking up, so. One fuel line, the other one here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut just a teeny bit off of this one also. Keeps the hose from kinking. Just a little bit. Nope. All righty, here we go, fuel line's on. So next thing I'm gonna do is tilt the camera up. Go ahead, I'm gonna take this spark plug out. Put a new one in. Maybe, here we go. Get out, wait, get a more stable table than what I got right now. Oh, let's try three quarter. Here we go. And yes, yeah, so I'm using a half inch, which is way overkill for this, but. I have a three quarter and a three eighths, so what I got. Right, so here's a spark plug. Too terrible, a little wet. I'm gonna give this a couple pulls just to see, uh, see if there's any. A little wet in there, which is fine. I think it's supposed to be a little wet because you got all the oil and stuff in there but like I said this carburetor has been sucking gas back up into the uh, combustion chamber so that's why one of the reasons I'm swapping the carb out another reason is it's just cheap and shoot $16 or 17 bucks for all this stuff I'll do that any day you know, I like cleaning carburetors, but sometimes if it's cheap enough, it's just easier. All right, so we got our new air filter. Plug this, plug the spark plug back up real quick. There we go. Yeah, this car, this air filter goes in. There we go. Air filter but in. Air box back on. Cover back on. There we go. Sometimes it just takes a little wiggle. All right, so everything's back on, everything's tightened down. Uh, a lot of work's good. So next thing you do is put a little fuel in it, prime it, 
choke it, see if we can get it started. Pour a little, little premix in here. This little canister is a premixer. Pretty nice. Cap back on. Fuel in the prime bulb. Choke it. I'm gonna do this on the ground. <laughs> this little table's not meant to do the uh, do it. All right. So after a little bit of uh, tinking around. I ended up putting the old plug back in and I got it to fire. So I don't know if it's something with the new plug, but I put the old plug back in and it runs now. Maybe it's just not gapped right, I don't know. So, but it runs. I'm gonna go ahead and put the old one back in, I'll show you guys. It took a little persuading. Not quite sure why, but. Oh, hold on. Make sure you turn so it uh, turns on. There you go. Sounds like it's running pretty good. Alrighty, so there you guys go. Put, a, uh, put the new carburetor on, took a little bit to get it running, so sometimes it happens that way. But now it runs, sounds pretty good. So if you guys have any comments, any kind of anything that'll help the channel, if you guys want to see me do more of this, please let me know. I want to do more of this, I like working on stuff. Uh, I do have, I will have an update for the channel coming probably, maybe Friday? I don't know, I think I'm going to be really tired. I'm driving up to Wisconsin, I'm going to be picking up the uh, the channel's first project, which uh, it's going to be really cool. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people have done these bikes. Well, well, kind of spoiled a little bit. Yeah, it is a motorcycle, but I'm not telling you which one yet. You'll just have to stay, tu stay tuned, find out. I'm really looking forward to it. Kind of have a direction I want to go, but uh, we'll see what happens, see where the money falls, and... Uh, yeah, so y'all have a great night and uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what I could be doing differently. Uh, yeah, y'all have a good night. Thank you.